What is up everybody? Welcome to a new Let's Play on the channel. Before we leave, before we leave is a colony building management game. It's hex based. You're basically, you went into the center of the earth and lived there to try to live out the apocalypse and you're emerging and building a new world. I played a little bit of the tutorial. That's what the continues for. We're going to start a new game. Um, we could turn the tutorial on if we wanted to. Put the difficulty settings and all that. Um, you know what? You know what? Here, we will do that. We will turn on the tutorial, leave it on default stats. I have no idea. <clears throat> in bygone times, humanity descended into bunkers to escape a galactic disaster. Only centuries later, when the cause of the calamity was forgotten, did humanity emerge. Having lost all but remnants of their past history and knowledge, they begin once again on a planet born anew. All right. It's finally time. After so long, your peeps have emerged from their underground shelter and are on the surface again. Hold down the right mouse button to move your new home and zoom in and out with the middle mouse. Yeah, see, I mean, I use WASD to move around, but yeah, you can do it that way too. <clears throat> Let's get your peeps settled in some building by building some rows and huts. All buildings will be placed next to an existing road. Once you're done with a building, you can right click to cancel the building you've selected. Okay. So the thing is, right, like, um, it's hex based. So once you use a hex, you can't like move through that hex. And also, they don't tell you this early, but if you look here, you get bonuses for building accommodations next to each other is the thing. <clears throat> so, you just want to be careful with how you build. And I mean, I'm sure I'm going to mess it up a little bit, but it'll be okay. Let's go ahead and get these side by side. And we'll also get some roads going. I know we're going to need some roads to this stuff is the thing. And I know we're going to need, we'll probably want some roads out to some wood, so we'll do that. Great, while the shelter slowly produces food and produces food and water, you'll need more and fast. So now we're going to want to produce some food and water. And you'll see, potato fields, they do well next to fields and houses and wells. But wells, and they don't tell you this, I can click on that as well, they don't do well next to houses or cow farms or pollution. So you, you want to be you want to be careful with how you place things because you, you can mess it up. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I might run my my farms like back here maybe. That could be interesting. Put it next to an accommodation. Don't feel like I want to cut off this route is the thing. So we might build around a little bit. I know I'm going to need a hut, so I'm going to do that. I am. I'm going to connect up to here. Two potato fields. And you know what? We're going to actually get... We can't demolish it yet. Aww. And you can demolish later, but the tutorial is not going to let me do it right now. So I can't put the well exactly where I wanted to put it. I wanted to put it next to these. We'll uh, put it here for now and then just demolish it later. <coughs> And change things around you can speed up time by the way it's just locked for now in the tutorial I'm sure my city looks absolutely god-awful already by the way don't hate me okay don't hate me construct the well faster thank you so now we're gonna build a woodcutter all right so I was thinking this might be a good spot for the woodcutter it looked good to me at least <clears throat> lots of wood around it. A little bit far, but lots of wood. And I don't mind if it's a little little farther than normal. Build. Build! And you can zoom in and see them move around and stuff. Good sounds, I like it. Now your peeps need help relearning the ways of their ancestors to survive. Build an explorer set to gather items from heaps of ancient technology and build a library to help them learn and remember. Okay. So. Ancient technology. I think I'm going to build a... Explorer's hut. I don't want to block this off in case I need to go that way. We'll explore set here. That could be bad. I don't know if they'll be able to touch. And then we'll build a library, like, right 
Right here's fine. You're out of stone. Building the well and now the library needs more. Let's fix that. So now we get the demolish tool. Okay, thank you. I go ahead and demolish that one. I'm also gonna demolish that. No, 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 not that yet. I'm gonna demolish that. Great, now that you got stone, you can demolish forests. You have telling us we can just demolish forests and stuff like that. I also am gonna I'm gonna leave that well for now, but I'm gonna take it out later. Because I want the bonus for being next to the fields. <clears throat> if I were to demolish you, what would I get? Doesn't say. Oh, and also we have our speed up now. And I like to play on fast when I'm playing these kinds of games. Now that you're really just set up, you're going to need some tools. Alright. So we can go here and we can make wood into tools. Easy enough, right? Easy enough. Also, you see the ship over here. I'm gonna repair that at some point. Whoa. It's time to hit the books. Now that your peeps have access to the library you just built, they'll need to research how to gather stones and their tools. We can't repair the ship without them. Oh, uh, yep, we can. We. Stone is an important resource, but first we need to reach it. We gotta build elevators. Ho, ho, ho. Well, let's go ahead and research elevators, shall we? And then we can build up to here. I think I'm gonna put the elevator right there. When placing an elevator, you want to put it somewhere that will give you access to a decent amount of space on the high ground. You will also get access to the mountains and the rusty hulks up at the top. Elevators need to be constructed next to a road. Okay. Don't mind if I do. There is a road right there. <clears throat> you're still working on that? Or no, you still, you've done it. Okay, cool. What's going up? Now that you can reach the highlands, you need to get your peeps to mine stone. Let's go ahead and research mining. Now, I don't know how long we'll be doing this uh, for, by the way, but we're going to do it for as long as we want, for as long as we have. We want to until we get bored of it and then we move on to a new game. But yeah, I, I don't know. I like these kind of games sometimes. They're fun. Time to build your quarry. Place next to a mountain and also next to a road. Okay, yep. No problem. It's very important that you place. So we're going to want to run a road out here so that we don't like block off our area. I think we actually are going to even like want to do like something like that so that we don't mess things up. And let's go ahead and drop down a quarry even though it will unfortunately block off that that's okay eventually this will run out and then we can destroy it and put one. i mean i should just put one there for now yeah, that's probably a better idea can i stop that like no can i pause that yes it wasn't even built yet so i'm sure that's fine i want to build it here first <clears throat> Did you know that forests will slowly remove pollution? Amazing. Good to know. Now that your peeps are mining stone, you'll need a way to set, setting sail and discovering unseen lands. Okay, so we have to research repairing now. No problem, I can do that. First stone made. Woohoo! What's going on here? Water is going down. Okay, let's go ahead and... Give it a slow real quick. I want a well there, please. Continue. Speedy Gonzalez, let's go. Excellent. Frame ship is going to take a lot of peeps and resources. Increase the population. So it wants us to increase the population to 25 peeps. All right. So. <clears throat> how am I going to do this? Obviously, we need more houses and they get bonuses and I feel like I'm gonna need more fields definitely and we'll see how that ends up going for us let's go ahead and go fast see how much we get out of these We're only at 22, so we're going to need one more house. Alright, get it right here. What if we were to put a house right there? I bet that's a good spot for a house. <clears throat> Little cul-de-sac area, surrounded by houses. 
I bet that gets us to 25. We're losing food at an alarming rate. So... Doesn't really... Let's research and build a warehouse, okay. Pause for a second. I want to see, does it show how much? Okay, supply and demand. So let's see here. I am producing... I don't know how much I'm producing. Production, consumption. Okay, 17 to 15. Good. Production and consumption. 21 to 15. Should be good. But it's not. Let's research warehouse. If I gotta place more food places, I gotta place more food. So you know what? food right there. Apparently we're stagnant now. Nice. Okay, warehouse research complete. Now we want to build a warehouse and it takes two, warehouses take two slots, so you got to be careful where you build them. Can I build it right here? There we go. I want to build it, I want to build it where I had it. There we go. Perfect. Maybe I need more tools. Let's go ahead and build more tools. As long as these are going up, I'm happy. I'm just waiting for tools. No big deal. We'll get them eventually. The music went away. I don't like when the music went away. I was liking the music. He's just walking around like, bro, I need the tools. What's going on? I know, buddy. I know research anything yet because we are in tutorial lock at the moment there we go build that warehouse beautiful warehouse built choose which resource you want to store in your warehouse versus out only have a limited space and the more types of research you store the less space to be for each time let's go ahead and slow it down water production is struggling actually um let's go ahead and what are we what are we gathering a lot of? Let's store. Apparently they want me to store these. You're so close to repairing the ship. You'll need better source of tools than the transmogrifier. Time to find some iron in the highlands. We found some iron. Build research metalworking, okay? Don't mind if I do. That's, that's too much for me. I don't go that hard. Speed it up. Everything should be fine. And success. Build that up. Now I wonder if they get bonuses for being near stuff. Next to mountains. Oh, look at that! get a bonus from being next to mountains. Oh, cool. Okay, gotcha. Oh, you're gonna need more tools, aren't you? Go ahead and do that then for me. Yeah, there's a lot of wood, wood over here, so I'm kind of, the woodcutter's doing fine. To process the iron into tools, you need an iron smelter and a tool smelter. They're special buildings that require power. Fortunately, your peeps have found an old generator to found. Repair the generator. Okay. Repair. Oh, this is pollution. Oh no. Nobody likes pollution. This produces water for us, which is nice. 
I get maybe maybe it just contains one. Maybe it doesn't produce it. So now we need to construct an iron smelter and a tool smith. We don't want the pollution to be like up in there, so maybe we should build like a little road off this way and have like the iron smelter and the tool smelter like out here so they don't get bothered. Do I have the tools already for you? I do. Awesome. For a small village, there's a lot happening here. Look at what's available to manage your settlements and peeps efficiently. Click on the island details button. It's the big green one. Okay. This panel has a whole lot of information for you to explore. Okay. Here you can see every peep living on your island along with things like what they're doing at the graph. How happy they are. You can click on the graph to make it bigger. So how are... How are the happiness people? Are y'all good? Another thing you can do is view a variety of overlays. Okay. Building types. So also there's also information here about pollution spreading across your island, how happy your peeps are. Okay. Finally, you can view detailed information about individual resources and how they're allocated. Yes. This is the showing thing. A line showing how many of the resources you've got for one island. And a line showing how many resources you allocated. Okay. You can all Oh, this is so much. You can turn on the resource flow and the resource storage overlays for this resource. If you click on any of the line graphs, it'll take you to each building on the island. That section applies for the smaller. Okay. Hmm, your peeps are becoming unhappy. They're working hard and dealing with pollution from some of your buildings. Unhappy peeps will move and work more slowly, so it's definitely worth it to keep the spirits up. Click on a peep. Okay, come here, you happiness bar. One way to get your peeps to stay happy is to give them better food and drink. Let's plant some vegetables and grow some tea. Okay, gotta research that. Research garden. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> Maybe I'll make my garden like back here. Could could do that. Speed it up. We're zooming. I feel like I've done so much in 17 minutes of gameplay. 18 minutes of gameplay. It's not very musical. Nice. I mean, the island really isn't that big. I mean, it's big, but it's not that big. Good job. All right. Happy when next to fields and the combinations of the wells. Just want to know what you don't like, basically. Okay. Let's run a road out this way. I'm going to use that to connect this up at some point. Works for me. Actually, I'll have to demolish that to get through this way. That's okay though. Finally, you've have everything you need to repair the repair the old ship. Get to work. Oh, right. That's why we left that open spot. Look at that. I'm a genius. I'm glad we left that open spot. Oh no, it's beginning to drop. Well, I've got the variety of food and stuff. Why are you sad? Get out of here. People should be happy. You're getting tea and vegetables. Be happy. Yeah. Don't be sad. I'm missing wood still. I mean, we're gathering it. It's just a slow process. workers because they're all trying to build the ship I bet that's probably why yeah we'll be fine once the ship's done <clears throat> come on finish the ship and we'll be good to go 
then everything should be should be manned at that point. I know we're waiting for wood. I know. It's coming. See? Look, they're making it right now. At least I hope they are. My goodness. Oh, sitting here waiting forever. good I think you're all good soon we're nearly there we're at 17 out of 20 any minute now and it'll be done and we'll be good to go do do repair the ship hey there we go your peeps are sailing again and they have so much to explore and learn. Try colonizing a new island and seeing what else there is out there to discover. Select your ship and left click where you want to move. You can even click out into empty space to move out there. Once you find an island you might want to settle on, move your ship right next to it, click the colonize button and that's where you want to start your new town. Okay. Let's slow down while we do that though. Find new stuff. That is a very small island, isn't it? I don't think we want to colonize that one. I'm just going to be uh, exploring for a bit here. Let's speed it up. I'm sure home is fine. Yeah, home will be fine. There's going to be a lot of uh, da ding noises as I explore through here because I like to uncover everything when I explore things. Like in Civ, like I set my scout ships to exploring everything. The air shimmers with heat. Your ship has discovered a new island, but there's no lush grass to be found here. It's a desert as far as the eye can see. You've heard of the ancient humans once buried treasure in places like this. You should in your remains. You can grow nearly anything here, but only on the fertile green tiles. Peeps that travel too far from the village will get fatigued. It's hot out there. They'll need the appropriate clothing to prevent that. You've discovered a new thing. Type of clothing. Ancient technology. It's once you to connect the entire planet. Gather it with your explorers. Okay, cool. Do I want to settle on there, though, is the question? I don't know if I want to settle on the, uh... Dude, this is enormous. What is this? I have no idea. What is this? Just a giant ice cap? Okay, I can't go down for some reason. There's so much exploring to happen. Keep going. The desert's intriguing, but I'm wondering if there's anything else. Oh, no, go through, go through the unexplored area. I want you to keep... There you go. There you go. So, the world is enormous. It's mostly covered in water, but that's kind of like our world, too, so... It's fine by me. Just get, it, get, get what you can of this explorer. This is like an entire continent, man. It looks like it's kind of split in the middle. Got a nice little lake there. That's pretty cool. Let's get back out to where we were. Imagine if, like, I could just click the explore button and it would just explore everything like you can in, like, Civ. <laughs> I'd be about that. I could accept that as a way of exploring. So this island is enormous. You discovered a ruined spaceship, a relic of a bygone era. Hey, it's your peeps investigating the spaceship wreckage think they'll be able to fix it up given time. Oh. Go to new planets, you say. Pretty neat. I know you're gonna hear a lot of badings, guys. This is just this is just I I feel like it's better to explore the whole thing than it is to just settle on the first one you find. I mean, it might all be desert other than that, which is fine. But I want to see the full 
the full, the full uh, planet. Which discovered oil. Nice. See, we're making all these new discoveries. It's exactly what you want to be doing. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not in a game like this, but it feels like it should be true. And I haven't gotten any scary pop-ups about my uh, my island, so that's good. Just another lake. Looks like it might be, or no, it's just a... Uh... Neat. Right. Found more. Can I zoom out? Oh, I can zoom out even farther. Awesome. That's cool. I'm glad I can zoom out even farther. So it looks like it is like all like desert islands and stuff. Come on, leave no stone. What are you? Huh. Who knows? This is a long process. But we're finding everything on the planet at the very least. Nearly done. Oh, we found another little island. A very little island. And this is all ice. Alright, how have we done? We missed a spot. Other than that, I mean, looks pretty good, honestly. I think we're going to be heading over to here and settling. Huh. Want to settle on this island, do you think, or we want to settle on the other one? Is this the one with the spaceship? I think so. Let's go here. I think this is where we're gonna we're gonna colonize right here. Colonize. There we go. We did it. We've done it. Your peeps colonized a new island. Life here is is precarious, so we'll need to rely on the first island for support. Let's find a way to transport resources between islands. Okay. Establish your new village. Okay, so we can do that. Alright, so let's build some roads real quick. I'm thinking we're going to need to, like, open this place up. Let's get you out of there. Let's get, like, a, a thoroughfare going here, you know? Where I can get some houses to be starting to be built. Only build farms on the green. Which makes me think I should build houses like out here almost. Can't do that. Then we'll get like. Trying to build the stuff that doesn't need, like, grass on oh, not the grass, you know? Get that out of my way, please. I like that. Right there. Explorers hut. And we need a place to harvest some wood. That's a decent spot for some wood harvesting. Go for it. I also need to build a library on the new island. Bye bye me. And then research shipping on the new island. Let's speed this up, get that 
about ready to start, and then we'll call it a first episode, guys. Search shipping. We'll have to wait for 20. Well, we'll do that the next time then, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.